How do you make a bagel? My name is Matt James. I've lived in New York now for over a year, and I just started the ABC Food Tours. Where do they think arepas originated? ABC Food Tours offers students from underprivileged communities free tours of local food spots in New York City. For our first tour, we are partnering with PS188. I'm excited to have everybody on the tour today. We're going to be going to seven different restaurants in Alphabet City. I encourage everybody to be adventurous with, with what you try out because I feel like you don't know if you like something until you try it, right? What I'm hoping to see from these kids is that this experience changes the way they think about their community. They're able to surround themselves with entrepreneurs who come from just as humble beginnings as they do. They're able to open their palate to different tastes that they haven't experienced. If I can get them to open up their mind to what all is out there in their community, that's the goal of what we're trying to do. It means a lot to me because I'm one of those kids. I'm from a single parent home. I've had uh, family members who are in and out of trouble and I know what it's like to grow up without a father in the house. What better way to bring kids and students and teachers together than around food? Emerald, how cool is Matt? This is, uh, this is what it's all about. This is what, really what it's all about. Let me ask you this, Matt. What, what kind of changes have you seen now that you're working with these kids? That's a great question. So a lot of the kids that we work with haven't had that opportunity to eat in restaurants, be invited into an establishment, and really have anything outside of that bodega food and a lot of processed food. So at the end of our, we start out every tour, we'll ask, all right, so what's your favorite food? And my buddy Eduardo, chips. Um, we'll ask Stephanie, what's your favorite food? Pop-tarts. And then towards the end of the tour, like, you think my mom, you could send something home to my mom about how to make a lobster roll? I'm like, yeah. we'll work on that, we'll work on that. But. Um, Matt used to be an NFL player too, right? <laughs> yes, Who'd you spend your time with, the Saints? Yeah, so and I, the started out in Pan I started out in Charlotte with the Panthers, and then I spent some time down in New Orleans with the Saints. So, uh, but it's fun because a lot of my buddies. They're on a, they on a roll right now. They're on a they're roll right on now. They're on a roll. Yeah. Everyone bunch... knows all about that. That's so, the town. What, Matt, let me ask you this. What kind of restaurants? I mean, uh, that's a great question. So the idea came from when I was leaving my favorite establishment in the Lower East Side, Bob White's. I'll go there, I'll get fried chicken, mm -hmm. mac and cheese. Um, I'm a Southern boy, so it's yep. all my... That's your, that's, 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 my, that's, that's my comfort zone. zone. That's, yeah. that's, that's a jam. And, I, and I run into some kids from PS188, and they're giving me a hard time about how high my shorts are, and we're just going back and forth, <laughs> teasing. And um, they told me they went to PS188, and they had never been to Bob White's before. So I reached out to the principal. So the light bulb went off. Right, I'm like, I gotta get these kids in there. How have you not, it's right across the street. We gotta, we gotta do something about this. Reached out to the principal and. And a wonderful, to, and ABC was born, exactly. And he was, saying, it, we, it, he was saying that it would be great to be a part of the Saints right now, but he is, this feeds your soul. You're really happy to be doing what you're doing. Right? Exactly. And Are you getting great response from, from the local restaurants? The, so when you're bringing a group of, young kids into an establishment, I could, I could imagine as a restaurant owner, it's, it's a kind of high intensity. And once, you, once the kids are actually in there, then we've got the, the chefs and the owners come back out like, wait, like, I want you to try this. And then they'll run out and come back and all this just turns into a It's adorable. A, a party. And you're gonna, you're gonna have a, a lot of budding chefs too. It's a great industry to work in. It's certainly blessed me and Emerald well. Absolutely, absolutely. So um, Cappy, our friend who started Beyond the Plate, he hooked you up with your next three restaurants. The chefs at all of these places are waiting for you. Our dear mutual friend, Josh Capon, <laughs> at Bowery Meat Company, so they can learn about butchery. Wow. And he created some really cool cuts just for his restaurant that I've never seen any place else. Like Very cool. Yeah, wow. really cool place. But look at this next place. Yeah, and then uh, they're going to get dim sum and learn all about the art of making it at Tim Ho Wan. That's wow. awesome. And then they get oh to chase that with some delicious sushi in sashimi, <laughs> a blue ribbon sushi is, is a great. Wow, Kathy that is, is awesome. Oh my gosh. And we'll keep it going. When wow. Kathy comes to town, we'll have to all get together. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. We want to be a part of ABC for a while. Thank you. So, you restaurant guys and gals out there, Get alive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and, and get ready, because he's going to come a rolling. Thank you to Matt. He's such a great, great, great experience, a, a great example. Thank you.